2000 in Ames, Iowa. The annual battle. It all started back in 1894. Iowa and Iowa State, and we are going to overtime. Joel Myers, Joel Clad, Jim Knox. First snap of overtime. Coker with Matt Myers, the fullback, comes out in the eye. So single to each side, a very familiar situation for Hawkeye fans. A formation they've seen a lot. Now let's see if they can succeed. Going to McNutt right away. Boy, they bracketed him, didn't they? First time these two teams have ever gone to overtime. Second, a little more than four. Coker, good shift at the line. And right at the marker, I think he's got enough for the first down to the 15. Power formation. Only McNutt outside. Unbalanced to the right side. That's where Coker heads. And he waits for the pursuit to slide as he gets five more. But that was top heavy. Wide side of the field. Unbalanced look. Three tight end formation. Short side. Strong side. Coker weaving his way. Taking him on and he's got another first down. First down inside the five. So here you go. First to goal. Bottom of the four. First possession of overtime. Coker diving is he in. No official word. Linesman running it. Gets it to him. Late, but he got it. Now. Mike Meyer, who's been perfect today. The extra point. He continues to be dead on. Making sure he is ready in case it continues. On the sideline, he's not going to cramp up. Marcus Coker, who just scored the touchdown. For the Hawkeyes. Now the Cyclones. Trying to get the equalizer. Chantrell Johnson back into the game and fresh bouncing outside. It'll be first and goal and a horse counter from behind, I believe, will take it even closer. Now they're going to put him into the 11. But Takes it even closer to about the five and a half yard line. First and goal. And chance. Takes it inside the five. It'll be inside the four, second and goal. They hurry up, trying to catch the Hawkeyes. Unprepared because they were trying to sub in. Timeout, it looked like they were trying to call a timeout. Didn't get it, and Kirk Ferentz was as they dropped Jantz at the four. Now it's going to be third and goal, but Kirk Ferentz was running down the line trying to get a timeout. Third and goal. Lost about a half yard on that play. Looks again like man-to-man -man coverage, so it looks like they're going to blitz. Chance looking into the corner. Knocked away at the last second from Lent. This is still Jan's time. He has to make a play. Ball game right now. Well, he's got trips over on the near side. Aaron Horn, one of his favorite targets. Short side. The ball game on the line. Looking for Horn. He's got it. Check that. Darius Reynolds instead. Makes no difference. Extra point coming up. Wow. Zach Geyer, the extra point. Will we go to a second overtime? Yes. It is all even at 31. Zedarius so Reynolds with his second touchdown of the day. And, and now they'll come back on offense because it flips in the second overtime. The size factor we were talking about with McNutt. Reynolds has about three, four inches on Greg Castillo. So he can shield it away. And about 20 pounds, a little bit more than 20 pounds. So that chicken fighting that goes on with your hands, you know, the shielding by defenders, the shielding by offensive players as well, it's won by the bigger player, Reynolds, for the touchdown. So even at 31. Back to the 25. And now, Iowa State. We'll start with it once again. Virginia Tech, East Carolina. And you've tuned that or uh, come and join us late on uh, this contest, waiting for that. It follows immediately on College Football Saturday in high definition. But first, a great one. Option. 
Short side read, nothing there. Now, if you can't get a first down, all of a sudden, what if? Because of the missed field goals earlier by Iowa State. You think you've got to go back to Mahoney. He hit the 54-yarder. Out of the gun. Jans with time. And a dart. That had to be it. With some zip on it. It's complete. Short of the first down, but a well-thrown one. They need a yard. Inside give. James White, a little back. And I think he got enough. They give it to the linesman to the far side. He's got it. First down, move the chains. Johnson, their leading rusher today with 108 yards back into the game. He'll get it on a reverse, go the other way. They stand home though. Josh Lynn's going nowhere. Jance with a good look over the middle. And now here's some heat. Throws it away. Wow. Little guy White's back into the game. Trips on the wide side. Heat again. Now Jance has some room. He can get the first down. And he will. First and goal to the two. He stays with the gun. From the two. White goes low. He goes in. Touchdown Iowa State. To go up by seven. Geyer gives him that advantage. Zach Geyer with the extra point. Relief for the Cyclones in Ames at a seven-point lead. Oh, now the Hawkeyes ready to go from the 25. Same formation they started their first overtime. A single to each side in the eye. The tight end, the strong side, the top side. Brad Herman. He's like another lineman at 6'5", 260. It's Coker. Spinning to two and spinning right into the arms of Patrick Neal, the defensive end. Second and eight from the 23. The end around, McNaught looking to throw, the lefty does, it's short, and fortunately it's short, going for Keenan Davis, otherwise it was going to be picked off. On third down, Vandenberg with plenty of time, what a grab, Keenan Davis into the end zone. It floated like it was there for the taking for either side, and Davis got hungry in a hurry for 23 yards. Excuse me, Davis. Extra point. Good hold, good handle. We're even as we'll be right back to Ames. It's tied at 38. It is tied at 38 as we get ready for our third overtime in Ames, Iowa. Joel Myers, Joel Clad, Jim Knox. So now, third overtime. Virginia Tech and East Carolina scoreless. That's following after our overtime game. Vandenberg had to bat it down to the line. It looked like big number 90 got up there, Cleon Lang. He's from Edmonton, Alberta. 6'4", 300 pound junior. They're tied at 38, second and 10 Hawkeyes. Underneath was available, came late. Martin Manley's got it. But McNutt at the bottom of your screen, their best receiver. Third, a little more than five, almost six. Vandenberg, good pocket protection, and it's dropped! The man who just made the great grab for the score, Keenan Davis, had it go off his fingertips. And the first chink in the armor in overtime. Iowa's gonna settle for a field goal. Keenan Davis wants that one back. It was in his hands, and he had nothing but green grass in front of him. An accurate throw as well. That is right on the money from Vandenberg. That ball's got to be caught. That was in first down territory. And he also has space with Martin Manley there to block for him. Flag comes up.
Ooh. The Markov. Now. Substitution penalty. Yep. The illegal substitution. Now. <laughs> that makes it, that's a tough one for Kirk Ferentz. Fourth and a yard. Place kicker looks over. Mike Meyer. I don't think you take your chances. You know, with as good as Iowa State has been against the run. It'll be a field goal try of 35 yards. Snap was a little bit low for the last time. John Winky did a good job. He got it up. Now for a three-point lead. What a stroke. Nice kick again by Mike Meyer. And now Iowa State has a chance to win after the field goal. Chance on the shallow cross complete. It's good down to about the 20. Gold Myers, Joel Klatt, Jim Knox, steal jams out of the gun on second and five from the 20. Iowa State led by one. Only once were they on top in regulation. Now, James White with a convoy in front. They get him from behind short of the first down. Good chance to it himself. His wheels have been the difference. Needs two, and a timeout coming for Paul Rhodes. Charge timeout. You ever heard the stadium go quiet that quickly? <laughs> that quickly. <laughs> that quickly. What a huge down for Iowa State. Huge play here. Iowa has got to bow their neck. Well, they spread it. Does he run it again? They've used the quarterback draw Jeff, frequently. Jeff Woody's in the backfield. They've used that quarterback ISO. Needs two for the first down. Wants to throw for it. It's behind him, but he grabs it anyway. And what a grab. Darius Darks, the senior from Austin. They try to snap a three-game losing streak in this series. Inside him, no. Chance keeps it. And he's inside the five to the four. He doesn't mind mixing it up on the zone read. Man to man, looks like another blitz. They've loved Lins to the corner in this situation. Shifts James White in the backfield. Option read. White's got the corner. Touchdown. Iowa State wins. of college football downstairs we go to Jim Knox. All right, thanks, Joel. It's Bedlam down here on the field. Coach Rhodes, your very first win against Iowa. The very first game these two teams played in overtime. Your thoughts? Well, uh, uh, a huge credit to our kids. We're trying to become a peak and a plateau team and never sink down into the valley. We could have done it today and we didn't. We kept playing for the entire length of the game, but I think our kids had a lot of fun. This had to be extremely special for you. You grew up 10 minutes away from the stadium. Your father, Cecil, the coach here in high school, has been here over 30 years. He's on the sidelines. Your mom passed away this July, past July. How special is this one for you? I, I can't tell you how much. Thank you, Coach. Joel? Another look at the deciding touchdown. An option to the short side versus the blitz. Tyler Nielsen, the outside linebacker, was on a blitz. They had blitzed all day long in crucial situations, Iowa did. And it comes back to haunt them because versus the option, there's no running back player left if you blitz out of it. Touchdown, Iowa State, and the Cyclones win the Cyhawk Trophy. Won't forget it, Joel. That was a great game. Great experience. We'll not forget it. College football Saturday continues. Virginia Tech, East Carolina coming up. Then it's Nevada at number 14, Oregon. For Joel Platt, Jim Knox, it's been our pleasure bringing it your way. I'm Joel Myers. 44-41, the Cyclones prevail. You've been watching Big 12 College Football Saturday presented by KFC. So long, everybody, from Ames, Iowa.